Hey, what is up, guys? It is Liz, and for today's video, I know I haven't been present because I haven't uploaded videos for the past few days. Actually, for the whole week last week, I had zero uploads, and I will make it up to you guys because this week. I will try and challenge myself to upload three love you guys. Three videos for this week. And this week is dedicated to my college series. So last week was all about my campus series, my life inside the University of the Philippines. But for this week I will talk about my course political science and what it's like to become a college student here in the Philippines. I will segment this video into three parts. Number one why political science number two what do political science students do what specifically do we study what am i getting in myself into if i study political science and the last part is what can you do with your degree if you're studying up political science okay so without further ado let's get started <laughs> Okay guys, so first of all, um, I will tell my political science story. Why did I study political science? Maybe it might be helpful if I describe first what political science actually is. So political science is a four-year degree that seeks to understand and explain the theory and practice of government and politics from the local, national, and international level as a social science. It covers a wide spectrum of concerns which seeks to understand relationships between the individual on a micro level and institutional on a macro level, as well as the dynamics of policy making and politics. So not only do we learn about the system of governance, we also learn analytical, communicational, and research tools which are highly demanded in a wide range of professionals. Professions pala. Charot. <laughs> okay, so why did I choose political science? Personally, I chose political science because like all of you, like most people do, when they think about political science, I am planning to take up law. And when I got into the degree program, apparently, <laughs> the first thing your political science professors will tell you is that political science is not the best pre-law. Actually, some will even go as far as tell you that it's not a pre-law course. <laughs> Mindfuck, right? But I will tell you why in a bit. So I took up political science because I wanted to take up law. And then afterwards, I wanted to go into politics. Uh, what kind of politics? I want to become a legislator. Meaning, I want to be able to craft laws, um, to lobby laws, and create laws for the people inside the government. Because like you guys, of course, I want to see change in the world. So yeah, so that's the reason why I took up political science. Okay, part number two. What do we study in political science? What exactly do we do? So if you're going to study political science, expect guys to read a lot. When I mean a lot, I mean hella a lot. I don't have my papers here with me, but just to give you a glimpse in the background, whenever a class would end for me within one semester, I have just two semesters, um, I would discard like this much level of papers. It's actually just a little because most of the readings that I have are actually in my laptop. I'll try to flash here an example of a folder I have in one class. I'll try to flash hmm, my political science 111 class. That is my qualitative research class. So we basically have a lot of books that we are going and we are expected to read by the end of the semester. And we have a lot of journal articles. Journal articles are the scholarly published like small articles that these um, scholarly people do. Whenever I go to one class, I'm usually expected to read at least um, minimum 
would be like 10 pages and the most would probably well if your professor is there it could um, go maximum up to 100 pages per meeting and you have like two meetings per week yeah so expect to read a lot and number two expect to write a lot and when I mean a lot I mean a lot especially when it comes to political science theories class by the end of the semester you're supposed to produce a paper mm -hmm. and that is where the science of political science come into play remember in high school when you used to do your scientific method you're literally going to do that for the rest of your year when you're studying up political science you're gonna do a lot of research so you're gonna be doing that hypothesis making testing your hypothesis using qualitative or quantitative methods I'm not scaring you guys I'm just saying that political science is not constrained within the Constitution we're not just Framed to study the government. We're actually framed to read a lot and read a lot of research and read a lot of re review of related literature. So that's most of the things that we do. So yeah guys, so basically in political science, we have five areas. We study political theory, we study comparative politics wherein you study the different political systems of different countries. Like for example, uh, Southeast Asian politics, that's comparative politics. We also have international relations. So we look into, for example, the international institutions such as the IMF, the World Bank, etc. We also do a lot of political analysis and research. That's where your qualitative and quantitative methods class go into. And that's the classes where you will use your hypothesis making, review of related literature, and your conclusions. That's the class where it's at. And of course, we have your Philippine politics and governance. That's the localized version of political science. See what I mean? It's like we have five areas and Philippine government is just one of those five. So it's not what dominates political science. Okay. So next. What can you do with your degree when you're taking up political science? So when you graduate political science, you can actually become a politician, of course. Because most of the research work that we have is oriented towards studying the relationships between politics, policy making. We also look at how you can become a more effective political leader. So that's where political science becomes helpful if you want to be a politician. Next is, of course, you can become a lawyer. <laughs> well, in our course inside UP, um, we're required to take political science electives so we can choose which area we want to focus on. So for example, if you choose to focus on local governance or Philippine politics, that's where political science becomes useful for you if you want to become a lawyer. But if you focus on research, of course, you're going to be a researcher or a scholarly worker in the future. So the careers that we have, you can be a politician, a lawyer, um, operational research and management, paralegal, legal assistant, of course a political scientist, public relations officer, you can also become a professor, a researcher, and of course you can also become a judge. Because in the local governance that we have, we also have like judicial courses where we focus on studying the judicial processes. So basically, that's it for political science. If you have any more questions, please comment down on the section box below. I promise that I am going to reply very, very fast because I'm very, very active and I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> so thank you for watching my video. I hope that was informative to you guys. My next video is going to tackle the misconceptions and common assumptions when you're studying up political science and we will answer those common misconceptions so if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel because every week i will be uploading a new video and turn on your little notification bell just so you know that i have uploaded a new video and i actually answered your requests so that was this thank you for watching my video bye <laughs>